Hello, everyone. I'm Tim Johnson, and I'm pleased to welcome my broadcast partners, two of my Olympic heroes, Rulon Gardner and the dynamic Nate Carr. Tim, I'm excited to be here today. The big, big guys are going in it, and I know they're going to wrestle with intensity. I know they're going to let it all hang on the mat. I tell you what, these guys are looking so tough in this competition, I don't know if our big guy could take them. Oh. That's offensive. How about I show you right now? Go ahead with you. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> but you know what? These boys today are going to put it all on the line because these are the heavyweights. These are the 264-pound heavyweights. They're going to put it all on the mat today. Watch for throws. Watch for takedowns. Watch for excitement because this is what I call wrestling. But first, let's review last week where Comier and Rollins made it through some tough competitors. Lowney came out strong with a technical fall over Ryan Tobin, and things were looking good. But Tommy Rollins eked out a 4-3 victory to make it to the finals. On the top side of the bracket, Cormier stormed through Preston and Lamer. Lamer had upset Hahn earlier, and we have some new information about that match. While this was a good match, what we have found out is halfway through this match, Hahn blew out his knee, tearing his ligaments. But he toughed it out and finished the match anyway, even with a blown knee. Talk about tough. Han underwent surgery to repair his knee, and the prognosis looks good. This week, we're going all the way to the top, 264 pounds. Let's take a look at these competitors. First seed at 264 pounds is Tolly Thompson of the California Claw. Another premier Nebraska heavyweight, Thompson is an NCAA champion, U.S. national champion, two-time Pan Am champion, and a 2004 Olympic team runner-up. He will face Corin Papion of the Minnesota Freeze. Papion is a 10-time Armenian national champion and was on the 2000 Armenian Olympic team. Last year, he placed fourth in the Dave Schultz Memorial. The next match features Air Force pilot Kevin Hoy of the Chicago Groove. A two-time All-American at the Air Force Academy, the four seed was a 2003 NCAA runner-up and he took fifth in the 2004 Olympic trials. He'll face off against the five seed, Kellen Flukiger of the Texas Shooters. An All-American at Arizona State, Kellen placed sixth in the 2004 Nationals and fourth in the 2004 Olympic team trials, just ahead of Kevin Hoy. In the bottom bracket is number three seed and a fan favorite, Brian Cack of the Oklahoma Slam. A junior college national champion and a Pan Am champion in 2003, Keck has both Greco and freestyle experience. He will go against Wes Hand of the Iowa Stalkers. A two-time All-American as an Iowa Hawkeye, Hand was an NCAA runner-up, U.S. national place winner, and a runner-up in the 2003 Sunkissed Kids International Tournament. In the final match, we have second seed Pat Cummins of the Pennsylvania Hammer. A two-time All-American at Penn State, Cummins was the 2004 NCAA runner-up and sixth place finisher in the 2004 Olympic Team Trials. He will go head-to-head -head with Angelo Borzio of the New York Outrage. Borzio, who finished third in the 2001 U.S. Nationals, is an NCAA champion and five-time national place winner. Borzio completes our heavyweight bracket. Well, there you have it, the 264-pound, 120-kilogram weight class. Any predictions? You know what? I have to go with my favorite, Tolly Thompson. Went to college with him, competed with him, trained with him. He's got more experience than anybody else here, but there is a lot of youth out here. Both the Greco and the Freestyle Heavyweights retired this year. It's an open weight class. Anybody could win it. I just look forward to going out there and watching them wrestle today. I think you're right, Rulon. Tolly's the favorite, but it's an open weight class. After these messages, we'll come back for highlights from the quarterfinal round here at Real Pro Wrestling, the new league of superheroes. After this break, quarterfinal action gets underway, featuring the top seed, Tolly Thompson of the California Claw, next on Real Pro Wrestling. The goal of every wrestler is to pin his opponent and win the match. But here are other points wrestlers can score. One point for a push out or an escape. Two points for a basic takedown, a turn, or reversal. Throws are worth four points and a big throw is six. The RPW power meter keeps track of how much the wrestlers control the center of the mat. 
When a wrestler's power meter expires, his opponent gets a bonus and 20 seconds to throw him. Only the offensive wrestler can score, and only with a throw. Our first match featured the number one seed, Tolly Thompson, a two-time Pan Am champion wrestling for the California Claw. Being challenged by the Minnesota Freezes, Corin Papion, an Armenian national champion and Olympian. Another Nebraska heavyweight and Olympic trials runner-up, Thompson wasted no time unloading on Papion, attacking with a double and driving him to the back. Thompson then tried to gut rich his opponent, but when he switched off to the ankle lace, he turned Poppy on for a six to nothing lead. Tolly went back to the ankle lace, taking advantage of a Greco wrestler inexperienced in defending his legs. And from the standing position, he turned Corn again. And when it looked like he would turn Poppy on again, he just rolled him up, pinning his shoulders to the mat. It was all over with Thompson getting the fall. Way to go, Tolly Thompson. You pick up 15 huge points for the California Claw. Our second match.